Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm so excited to be doing a review of the Tarot Black and Gold Edition. Um, actually, I got this when I was visiting the Bay Area, um, and I was um, not in Palo Alto, but kind of like right next door to it, and I went into a little metaphysical shop, picked this up, loved it. So I've been using it for a little while now. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had a good grasp of it and how it worked uh, before I did a review. Um, so let's go ahead and first of all, take a look at this, like all gold foil freaking box. Like how bougie is that? I feel like they should be playing uh, that song from 1999, bling bling in the background. Every time I look around, bling bling, look at my tarot deck, bling bling. I'm pretty sure that wasn't the words, but you know, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so this is put out by Los Carabello. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside. It's a giant box, so I don't actually keep the cards in here because how am I supposed to travel with this ginormous box? Although it is, beautiful and you can see on the inside even more gold foil tarot black and gold edition bougie town so bougie um and then the guidebook has actually got a nice matte cover um also with that uh gold foil on the front which is pretty cool um you have kind of a almost feels like velvet on the inside Ta -ha. it's got a little ribbon so you can take your cards out but like i said i don't have the cards in here. You have your two little um, title cards that come with this. So you have the Tarot Black and Gold Edition title card um, and then the Masters of Foil Tarot. So basically all the uh, decks that have tons of uh, gold foil in it. I do have the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot and I do love all of its bougie goldness. <laughs> but there's some other decks in case you are interested. Okay. So let's go ahead and put those back inside and let's take a look at this over here. All right. So, ta -ta -ta, beautiful guidebook. Uh, actually feels like an actual book, so you can actually put this in your bookcase. All righty. So taking a look here, of course, the artwork by Pamela Coleman-Smith, our girl, what up? what? Um, <laughs> And uh, the concept for this black and gold was by Hiero. And you have your artistic director, the graphic layout, and the text. We recognize this name, Sasha Graham, because she is the creator of the 365 uh, Tarot Spreads book, which I love. I know she's um, created other books as well, but that's like one of my favorite books that she has created. Um, so there's all that information for you guys. And as you know, in Los Carabello fashion, you're going to have the guidebook in various languages. Um, so Hiro uh, Hilion um, talks a little bit about uh, the black and gold, a precious history um, and why it's it's been done that way. A little bit of information on, you should recognize this lady. <laughs> um, and lots of, you know, like I said, good info there. Um, and then you have a little bit by Sasha Graham, you know, who gives you some examples if you are kind of unfamiliar with using the tarot, um, you know, or a Rider Waite Smith type deck. Um, and then here, of course, you have the, um, the meanings for all of the cards to help you out in case you need to reference it or, you know, you're just starting off on your journey. Totally cool. Uh, then there's a few tarot spreads in the back, um, kind of your, your basic type spreads. Uh, and then it goes off into our other languages. Um, and then in the back, let's see. Nope, that is it. I thought there was one more thing. But anyway, so there's your guidebook. You know, I would say it's it's got a lot of good information. I always like to take a, a gander at a guidebook, even though I don't really use guidebooks when I read because I'm an intuitive reader. Um, it's always good to see the point of view of the creator, the artist, uh, the author of the guidebook, um, you know, because they put a lot of time into it. You know, I think that they deserve that. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards. I actually keep them in this uh, pouch here. You know, it's black and gold, kind of goes with the black and gold tarot. Ha ha ha. But this comes from the Botanica tarot, and so I thought it was a great fit. All right, so. 
your cards are your standard tarot size. So um, perfect, nothing too big, too wide. Uh, in your backs here, you could see that they are reversible if you do indeed read reversals. So beautiful there. Um, and you're going to notice it is like all out on the black and gold. <laughs> like foil galore is going to be on each of the cards. And we'll see that when we do our flip through. As for the cardstock, mm, I, 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 I might I might have wanted it a little bit thicker because I feel it's just a little too thin um, and eventually it's it's gonna start chipping but you know we'll see over time I mean I have had it for uh, since 4th of July weekend last month and it's fine I have been using it a lot so we'll see um, it's definitely super bendy so those of you guys that riffle shuffle this is going to be great for you. I myself am a side shuffler, hence why I want a little bit thicker cardstock. Um, but I would say this is um, like almost 300, kind of in the the upper 200 GSM range, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, kind of just want it just a little, little bit thicker. But anyway, let's take a look at these cards. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, there's tons of mirror. You can almost see me. Hello. Um, and let me see if I can get in nice and tight, but you'll see this on all the cards. Basically what is on the backing here is also on the front. So all the background, you, if I can feel it with my finger, it's embossed um, with the design of the back of the card, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then you have uh, Pamela Coleman Smith's artwork, um, and then it's just been overlaid everything gold. There's her signature. So um, just so you know that as you're, you know, looking, because I, I know that the, the gold is a little washed out on camera, but there is indeed texture there. And also what I love is that the images go all the way to the ends. I'm not a huge fan of borders. I mean, not every border do I dislike, but for the most part, I just want to see the person's artwork. <laughs> um, so yeah, these, I mean, you know, you recognize these images if you've come across a traditional RWS, but it's just been bougified. Oh, and by the way, on the hands, you can see it, it, it leaves some sparkle, but that's okay. Who doesn't want a little bit of sparkle in their life? I mean, Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh, just so cool. It just makes like, oh, especially if you're doing a reading out in the sun. Oh my gosh. These things become almost blinding, but in an awesome way. So just make sure you're wearing some sunglasses when doing a, your readings outdoors. And I have a, a window off to the side here, so adding some uh, wonderful lighting for these cards. So cool. I like that for the miners to just have the number up at the top. No borders. No borders. No borders. And then you just have, you know, the the title for the major arcana down at the bottom but it's seamless just flows right in um in the store let's see what did i pay for this deck in the store um like 35 dollars but you know cost of rent <laughs> you know out there owning a little little storefront i can see why they you know marked up the prices a little bit um, but i know that you can get this cheaper on amazon um, i know that i could have gotten it cheaper on amazon but you know i want to support you know local businesses and you know metaphysical shops and things like that you know out there to spread the light so want to help want to help with that strength card one of my favorite cards in all of the tarot so every time uh, i'm gonna go buy a deck 
I need to make sure that I dig the strength card and actually the fool card too because I don't like clowns so I need to know that they they did the fool card right you know <laughs> oh and here's our devil you can see the embossing on his wings the devil just wants to party you know he just doesn't want to go home just keep that techno pumping <laughs> I just really love the, the embossed background. I think it adds such a special touch. Instead of it just being like flat gold, you know, having that embossing there is just ups the ante just a little bit, you know? Um, and also when I'm reading, um, you know, I, I, feel, I feel like these particular cards, maybe it's the gold, I don't know. Um, like really wants to like if you if you get a reading and it's like I don't you know want that particular thing to happen or this is a particular block that I have it's like okay so let's be proactive let's like work through that block let's work through that shadow um, or if you don't like the outcome of that let's see what you can do on your end to change it you know and that's how I love to read anyway um, but I feel just I don't know with the bright, sunny, almost Leo type energy from these cards, it really helps, you know, with that. Um, and also, you know, gold, gold is a really good conductor of energy. Um, so this would be really good to use with uh, spells. You know, if you're doing some particular altar work, spell work, uh, manifestation, um, and when you use a particular card to be the focus or the theme of that spell or or affirmation or manifestation, whatever it is that you're doing, these would be really good for that because um, they would be not only the energy of the meaning of that card, but also the gold behind it, you know, to kind of um, almost act like, not an amplifier like quartz, but to be able to conduct the energy cleanly, smoothly, and quickly. Yay! Six of Wands, what up, bro? Oh, that wheel. I just love the feel of the cards. Like I said, I wish they were just a little bit thicker, but they still feel pretty good in my hands. They feel pretty good to shuffle. Um, they feel good when I'm laying them out and when I'm reading them. All right, and our final card is the Hanged Man. Okay, so if you don't know, at the end of my reviews, I always do a reading with the cards that I am reviewing. Um, so you can see not only how I read with them, but also so you can get a little message. So if this connects with you, that's fantastic. If it doesn't, then well, I hope you had a great time looking at all this uh, beautiful gold foil, just lighting up your eyes in gold. Um, yeah, so let's, let's ask for a message for people who are watching. Something for their best and highest good. All right, so let's go with the five of pence there. I'm really feeling like this bottom card. Oh, it's that strength card. Hello, Lionsgate. That was actually yesterday as I filmed this. Um, so today is the ninth, but you guys are going to probably see this on Sunday. All right. Um, so we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have the Strength card. Okay, so um, with all this manifestation that we have going on, you know, like over here I have all my pyrite, you know, I want abundance in all its forms, not just monetary, to come into my life. And I feel like that's what a lot of people are doing right now. They would love to have um, more abundance, you know, friendships, opportunities, um, you know, joyful situations, money, uh, things like that. Um, but the only way to get to that is to be reminded that you are a perfect manifester. Like you are a, um, you know, just this bright high vibe being, this light of energy, um, like the strength here, like the glow of this gold, like that's you on the inside. And sometimes we forget that in this like people suit that we wear. Um, and sometimes when we're in this people suit, we forget how bright 
our light can shine. We forget about how powerful we really are and how easily it is to attract the things that we want. So instead, uh, our people suit, our ego, tends to believe that things are hard, that it's hard to obtain the things that we want. And so all it takes is a shift in consciousness to be reminded of how strong you are. So if you want, take some time in meditation today and talk to your higher self. Be reminded of the wonderful, powerful being that you are and allow that abundance to come into your life, especially now since we're Well, the peak of Lionsgate was yesterday, um, but kind of throughout the rest of this week, we're still kind of feeling the effects of it. You know, there's just the collective energy, basically, that's out there. Um, And so it's very easy for you to tap into it right now, Um, either doing walking meditations, you know, just sit down meditations, whatever it is, um, get in touch with your higher self and be reminded that this is not where you exist. This is not where you live. This is where you live. And so it's just gonna take that shift in perspective. And once that happens, uh, you're gonna see everything else shift around you um, because the energy that you output is the energy that you surround yourself with. And um, if this is not what you wanna be surrounding yourself with, then you're gonna need a shift in energy and a shift in your mindset. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, I really love working with this deck. It was actually by my bedside last night. was pulling some cards for the Lion's Gate portal. Um, But yeah, so let me know if you have this deck or if you've heard of Tarot Black and Gold Edition that was put out by Los Carabello. Um, this is perfect for, you know, pairing with Oracle cards as well, but I like kind of just reading it on its own because then you just get like this whole shine of gold, you know? (laughs) Uh, but anyway, so that's it for me, spiritual homies. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, perhaps you would like me to use the Tarot Black and Gold Edition, in which case let me know upon booking. But head over to www.kittensweetsandtarot.com. I have a lot of different types of readings there. I even have contramancy readings where I read with seashells. But I have scrying, I have Lenormand. Um, I also have things that I make too. So I have my healing salve, my Goddess of the Rose beauty salves. I have my room and body sprays. Uh, as, for, as far as the body sprays go, a lot of people really like the um, abundance spray and the no bad vibes, which uh, clears out the energy of a space, you know, any negative energy. So check out those sprays. But also, if you're looking for more witchy items, such as things like this, uh, then you might want to head over to Desert Cauldron. It's all one word on Etsy. Or check out at desert.cauldron on Instagram. Uh, it's a little witchy shop that is uh, co owned by myself and James from Light of Raga. You guys know him. He is the crystal guy, like everything crystals, that is him, but he also does uh, readings on his channel as well. But actually, these items here, we have these little cauldrons which we um, just picked up for our shop and we're going to be listing them uh, soon. We also have um, this brass little sensor. So uh, be able to put some, um, you know, maybe like loose incense, but also maybe, you know, like stuff on charcoal uh, or cone incense in here and watch it, you know, come out, the smoke come out, the little stars there. I just think it's going to be so fabulous. Um, But if ever you see uh, things that we have, you can just DM us on uh, Instagram and you can get it before anybody else does and possibly a little bit cheaper uh, than before we put it on Etsy and we have to incorporate all the Etsy fees and all that stuff. But Anyway, so definitely check that out. We have lots of different witchy items, unique one-of-a-kind items for your one-of-a-kind practice. So definitely come dance in the desert with us. Um, All of my other information is down below for Patreon in case you're interested in some personalized witchy live chats, um, crystal goodness that I put out once a week and lots of other stuff. So definitely check it out. I have a once a month newsletter that came out on the first and I only like put newsletters out on the first I don't do any other things because I don't like to spam people (laughs) um so there's that and uh yeah everything else is down below in case you're interested and I will catch you spiritual homies later peace love and chicken grease peace out